I want to again thank my colleagues, but also the forum and uh, councillors for their involvement and everyone who is here tonight. I'm not going to be able to cover everything, but I'm going to have a try to cover as much as possible. Uh, somebody raised before the loss of our livable city status. This is not a trivial matter. Uh, it can't be dismissed as something that is unimportant uh, because it is a marker that this is a competitive world and in fact, you know, Vienna moved ahead of us because of safety and security and I make no bones about the fact that we have become less safe in the last four years and less secure because of the crime rate and a number of key issues that surround that. So make no mistake, this is an important uh, point. But the livability is also important in other ways. And I um, point, I, I studied here, uh, it, I lived in uh, Green Street in, in Ivanhoe as I uh, studied some years ago. And you can feel the difference in our city and you can feel obviously the, uh, the challenge that we face with population growth. Um, the state government has made decisions to reduce the um, protections that are there for planning and I am concerned about that aspect of livability as well. Um, in terms of major roads, and uh, a number of points were made, the east-west link is an important road. We say that the east-west, the northeast link and the completion of the uh, Westgate Tunnel is now required. Um, the point about the east-west is that it connects from the end of the eastern freeway, which frankly, with the volume of traffic on it now and when a northeast link is finished, will actually be, a, be a, a, a serious problem. It comes to a screeching halt already in peak hours and everyone who comes from this area of the world knows that to be a fact. In terms of the um, movement to Dandenong, well of course you need those major roads. They are part of a balanced transport program and um, buses and trains are equally important. I'm conscious of the time, I want to make one further point, and that is integrity. Um, I don't want to be too difficult about this with Mr Carbines, but he was actually one of the beneficiaries of the Labor rules. And if we're going to talk about the, the, um, the issues around integrity, taking public money, misusing it, as Labor did, to help get their people re-elected is absolutely disgraceful. And I want to get that firmly on the record that Mr Carbines, and people can go and read the Ombudsman's report themselves online, he is named in that report as a beneficiary, as one of the people who got money indirectly um, from this um, process. Now, it's disgraceful, and you can't talk about integrity without actually dealing with a rotting, corrupt government.